Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're in Philadelphia. We're going to the auto show. So it's the last day to go. Of course, you know, chances that be at force. Made today the last day to go to the show. So is what it is. And we'll get to the show, snap some photos, snap some more videos. See you in a little bit. At Duncan, home of the Eggles. So, grabbing some Duncan, getting some food, and then the convention center is right there. Hey guys, what's going on? We're at the Philadelphia Auto Show. So, was actually able to make it today, so I'm kind of really glad about that. Wasn't sure I was actually going to be able to. Had some things happen this past week, which I'm gonna actually talk about in a couple weeks, months. I don't have a, a date range of what's gonna be discussed, but something happened this week. So that was the issue, which why I wasn't here earlier or on the Wednesday. So today is actually the last day. So I'm here at the auto show. So we're gonna get you some videos of the cars. So right now we're in the Chevrolet section. So I'm uh, gonna get you some of the Camaro, the Z06 that they have on display, uh, a couple of customer cars that are along the sides and the back over there. Um, and we'll just get you some views on the cars. And if there's anything that you like, list it below in the discussions or comment section. So going forward, I know what you guys wanna see, whether it's more cars, more trucks, what have you. Uh, I'm gonna do some video though on some of the things that I see and just let me know in the Good. comments below. All right, guys, let's catch in a few. So here we got the Camaro. Loved by the Chevy boys and the LS boys and the LS fans. Looks like a nice car. I really like this color. The only thing I'm not a fan of is this price. 57.5. I mean, yes, yeah, brand spankity new, looks pretty nice. Might also have to do with the fact that it's a convertible. But, looks pretty nice. I like the door sills. That's a good size car. Yeah. <laughs> nice wing. SS badging. SS badging, oh. If you didn't know, here's your backup camera. Got the SS leathering stitched. No cap, but a filler. Calipers match the door sills. If you look close, it says Camaro and Brembo on it. So that's the new thing. Here we got the Z06. Big Wang. Accents for drag coefficients. Right there. Really sharp, really sharp. I like these seats. Seats are pretty uh, Recaro looking. Can't tell because the car is locked. And here's the barrier. Let's see what the price tag says. There it is. Six digits. So this is what it comes with. Standard vehicle price is 118. This vehicle as shown obviously is gonna be this much. So I'll do a screenshot of this and you guys will check it out. Moving on from the display that was there showing the pricing. So you got the Z06 badging. Also got the Brembos saying the car name, which is Corvette. Obviously you can see Right there, it says carbon ceramic. 
So, um, what were we told? How do you get ready for that? Quad tips. All right, on to the next car. Yeah, let me just get this car. So, looks like it's the 70th year package. It's all locked, but looks pretty nice. Has some uh, heat extraction right here going on, heat extraction to the maximum. Quad tip exhaust. Looks pretty good. 6.2 ZR2 package. Looks pretty nice inside. Pretty digital. Digital ops. Nice back seat. Let's see what kind of size tires are we going with today. It says 18. That's a big 18. But we might have to do with the uh, tire dimensions. 275, 70. That's a pretty big tire right there. Chevy Silverado. So here at the auto show, we got some of the custom cars here lined up. So we're going to see if we know anybody. Potential is yes. You never know. So here... 1967 gorgeous looking car unfortunately this year I didn't actually get to make it to get my car entered but there's always next year all right who do we got here from the white Mustang registry 2147 has the CDC Mach 1 style hood scoop shaker Nice. Looks to be the EcoBoost. Nothing wrong with that. I do like the uh, the cover, carbon fiber, carbon fiber. Also there. Looks pretty good. Got a '65 convertible here. So 97, 1314 right here. Forty-four thirty-seven white Mustang registry. Looks pretty good. Uh, this dude's got the, the front bumper that I would eventually like, but this looks also like the Parnelli Jones edition, which it actually is. Got Celine edition styled shaker. Might even be the supercharged one. Can't tell for sure. It's also not my car, but it still looks pretty good. Let's see, it's a 16 GT with. BMP supercharger. What's it say it's got? BMP Gen 3R stage two supercharger. Well, I don't know what the stages uh, have to do with anything, but 675, I might be able to take it. <laughs> but anyways, it's a nice, nice looking car. Very nice. <clears throat> I like this. What do we got here? An 06. Custom Patriot Edition. Yeah, I'm going to have to say that does not exist. That is just something they did. It does have the Roush Supercharger on it. It's pretty nice. Gave it that retro kind of a look with the, uh, the grill here. Also gave it the retro look with the, uh, the headlight, not having the glass on the outside of it. So not having the glass on the outside gives it that real retro look. Pretty nice. Definitely has a different style hood. 
it would probably have to be the mock like the mock hood that they make for the s197 for 05 to 09 he's got the mirrors that kind of match with it even has a uh, mach 1 spoiler and the duck lip or duck bill whichever you'd like to call it there's the stats 500 horsepower, 4.6, which we know. Shelby American wheels, well, that is pretty evident. Five-speed manual, that's because it comes with the GT 3650 from Tremec. So, yeah, that's what it comes with. Let's see what other things we got. So we got some Camaros over here. These look pretty nice. If you know if you're watching this channel you know i'm not a big fan of camaros but it's not that i'm not a big fan of the camaro it's just i don't really like the styling i don't like the cues the cars are themselves very nice it's just it's not for me i do like this it's sully from monsters inc lightning mcqueen looking pretty sharp Arr. There it is, there's the hashtag. It's a 2SS, I don't know what that means. Too super slow, I don't know. I like this, it's kind of chromed out, supercharger. Oh, look at that, it's a ZL1, nice. That's why I like it. I always like the fog lights on these, it's pretty interesting. Definitely, definitely nice. Maximum heat extraction right at the hood. You're good, you're good. Got an old, oldies right here, Camaro. 69 Camaro. Pretty nice looking. Looks to be convertible. Diablo Red, 94 Z28, nice, pretty sharp, very sharp, it's very clean, wheels just stick out a little bit, but they look nice, 50, we're going to have to call shenanigans on this. They haven't really made them for 50. When you make it for a couple of years, you just take a break and then a couple more years, uh, that's not that's not 50 years consecutive. What do we got here? Hot Wheels edition, very interesting. It must be one of the Hot Wheels edition cars that GM and Camaros were made to look like. Inferno Orange, I like, I like, definitely like. Again, I like the Camaros, but they're just not my style. All right, so we're gonna go on to more cars. We've got the Maserati section, Lamborghini. That purple is pretty lit. Same with that orange. Got some more of the custom cars section over here. I'm trying to see if I know anybody. Valley Forge. Well, here's John Torres. I was hoping I was gonna be in the custom section, but that didn't work out this year. But congratulations, John. Looking good. Looks really nice. So we got some more custom cars over here. See a Chevelle. See some uh, extra kind of unique customization things going on. So let's go check them out. Shelby GT350. It's nice. Cal is special. 
Edelbrock supercharger package. Very nice, very nice. Named Black Widow. Very nice. Font's a little hard to read, so would have made more sense to make that pop, but this is what it is. Looks very nice. Got the Bronco. Got an 87 here. Got the EV section going on over here. Oh, I was wrong. It wasn't a Chevelle. It's a 442. Apparently, it's for sale if anybody's interested. Ah, the SRT10. Classic, classic car and or truck in this case. Very nice with the Brembos, matching the stripes. Very nice. 2006 SRT10, very nice. We've got a Shelby over there. We'll have to check it out in a little bit. Mopar, a little bit of Mopar over here. Nice, nice Wrangler over here. Very nice. All right, we're gonna check out some more stuff. Here comes the Ford Lightning on the EV track. And it's off. Not bad. I've seen better, I've seen worse. There's some people that are here ripping on these things. All right, we'll check it out. We'll try to go for a ride ourselves. With this one, it has a massage feature for the driver and the passenger. Okay. If you want to turn the massage feature, you look straight to, uh, just unfortunately for the dry. And uh, hopefully some of the other models will have it. Panoramic sunroof, so I'll be able to slide all the way across and slide open. It doesn't open up all the way, but you can still see the charger phone right here. It used to be outlets right here. And okay. The back. This is cool. a 12 inch touchscreen, different mode. You can drive the car in, climate, heated front steering wheel option, crazy temperature in your seat, AC function. Another cool thing Very is cool. this ambient lighting, different colors you can choose from. Ooh. So this looks really cool uh, at night to play around with it brightness then to start to drive you just turn the knob up in D mode and let's get ready to party all right so yeah this is the ID4 Pro S this is a rear wheel drive model single motor okay starting price is 48,790 275 range, 201 horsepower, 229 torque, 82 battery. We also do offer an all-wheel drive, dual motor option as well too. Right. We show for and for purchase. So right here is the really the fun part is we're going to drive it super fast. Super fast. So yep. Acceleration from zero to sixty with the rear-wheel drive, 5.7.5 all-wheel drive. Here we go. 5.4. Here we go. Very smooth and very quiet ride. Right. So the ID4s come with an eight year battery warranty. So the battery is designed to last up to about 300,000 to 400,000 miles. You do get three free years of unlimited charging at the Electrified American Charging Stations. Right. Those are a level three charger. They use a 480 volt. They'll charge a car from zero to 80 in 30 minutes. A level two charger is what the dealership would recommend be able to purchase that separate from the car. That's a 240 volt, and then I'll be able to charge the car to the full in about seven hours. And then when wow. You're driving, you just press P right here in park mode, and boop, all set. This one does have a B mode, regenerative braking. Okay. Which is uh, single pedal driving, extends the range, and put power back into the battery. So wow, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much for the information, brother. Have a good one. Do have the all-wheel drive model too on the show for as well too. If you guys want to take a look more. Cool. Well. Awesome. Thank you. Got some more Maserati and McLaren over here. This here is Maserati because of the train right there. That's definitely McLaren. Very nice. Very nice. Regular 
2500 without the power wagon package, you can tow a little over 20 grand. I'm gonna use this uh, forward facing camera to help us go over the top, uh, top of this uh, log roll right here. Just like 18 feet up in the air, 28 degree incline. Again, using that front facing camera to help me out. We'll go right over the top. Here we go. One, two, three. What goes up must come down. We are best in class in braking and suspension. Woohoo! about 28 degrees right there it does have the skid uh, plates underneath it so you do have that protection for your undercarriage as well which is really nice screen which is really nice that way you can actually use that as you're going down the road you can uh, put your information in turn the screen off and still get your verbal commands from the uh, GPS cool. but you just to turn it back on as well you do have your conventional mirror as well as the LCD screen as well cool, cool. very cool I knew I'd get her. so apparently what we're about to see is the charger from the fast and the furious with all its battle damage. I don't know if that hood is uh, legit, but looks like it's uh, the car that took some serious damage. At least there's a roll cage in it, so that's a plus. What else do we got here? CB is the optional rally fun bag, you know? <laughs> I want to make you happy, huh? Teleport! I'll get to the bottom. Mr. Griswold, what is the sports wagon? Where is it? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> 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 wagon, wait, 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 <laughs> Wait till you drive it. <laughs> That's great. So we're at the Ford section. They got the simulator. So this one is on the off road track. If I can get to it. All right, guess not. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see if we can get a video. Hold on. There you go. He's off the road. Enjoying himself too much. All right. So, yes, we are at the Ford section. And at the Ford section, we've got the Dark Horse. So, here it is. Not going to be able to get in. It says please keep off display. So, and as mentioned, you get the Brembo's. The paint match to whatever you want it to say. So here it is. Dark Horse. So it's the it's the 350 equivalent replacement, pretty much making 500 horsepower, uh, dual throttle bodies, a whole bunch of goodies. So what you're seeing is the engine bay with the dual throttle bodies, and this is what it's going to look like under the hood. Looks really nice. This is your going to be your accessory mode intro with the dark horse, and this is going to be your standardized cluster view which you can actually edit and change into the 1985 Fox Body Mustang. 
So yes, this is the dark horse. Right now the display is currently on. There's the interior, it's definitely on right now. That's one of the displays. Definitely on right now. Obviously the vehicle is locked. Let's zoom out. So here's the back. There's the dark horse badging. There's your backup camera. There's your real rear spoiler with uh, a little bit of a deck lid wicker bill kind of look going on. It's actually pretty nice. I actually like this spoiler a lot. It's a lot better in person than I was expecting. So that's a plus one. Wheels. What does it say? P0 Trofeo RS. I don't know if that's an O, but looks like pretty much an O. Still Corelli. So, yes, that is the interior. That is definitely on. So, this is the Dark Horse. This is the next Mustang, the 350 replacement. 500 horsepower. Don't know what it's going to make at the wheel. It's a little nicer in person than I was expecting, but still unsure of how it's going to be on the road uh, definitely have seen the new s650 on the roads so it's definitely nice questionability how's it going to handle on the roads how's it going to handle on the road courses the tracks looks pretty nice looks really nice in person but i'm still just questionable on the whole interior aspect has the nice recaro seats going on right now i'm gonna try and focus on that probably can't see too well lighting is not really the best which makes sense because why would they do something that makes it where you could see everything a lot and clearly so it should be white lines instead of blue but there's no details on cost cost basis so we'll have to wait and see how that is big-ass rotor anyways we're gonna keep looking around at the other cars and see what else they've got but otherwise this is the dark horse so here we got the brz the engine turns out this is a 2.4 liter engine oil filters on the top which is different than the cars that i've actually touched whereas the filter is underneath the car so Supposedly comes with 208 horsepower. It's nice. Comes, I believe, in a six speed manual. Here's the interior viewing. Doesn't have a shift knob, so somebody can't take it. So here it is. There's the BRZ logo. It's actually open so it doesn't seem it's going to close but that's okay because they did it on purpose but that's okay what does it come with obviously no spare tire but that's what it's looking like it's going to come with i like the cues i like the lines i guess you press the button and it'll pop open tail light design i like even though it looks a little bit like a honda but looks pretty nice overall and then to the side of it you're going to have the wrx now, the taillights that I see, I don't really agree with because it looks like a Honda Civic from the back. But this is the WRX. I don't know what it comes with for powertrain. We're going to try and find out. Let's open the door. There's the bonnet opener. And there you go. What does this come with? 2.4 liter motor. There you go. So this one comes with the turbo charged. So same style motor, except this one comes with the turbo. The BRZ does not. So it's pretty nice. Uh, exterior for you looks pretty nice. Don't know if this one comes with a manual. Should come with a manual and automatic, but we're gonna find out real quick. 
And there's the answer. It comes with the manual. Seats come back down. Can go back up. Pretty nice. This comes with a pretty nice LCD touch screen, so this looks, looks pretty nice. There's no real way to see what the display is actually going to be because you need the key to do so, which we don't have, but I can show you what they got. So here's the WRX. It comes with a sunroof. That's there. It's a pretty interesting car. It's really nice. Would I buy it? Maybe. Depends on what my future would hold, but it does look nice. All-wheel drive all the time. Turbocharged. Not NA. So... This is your WR, WRX. Here at Custom Alley. Custom Big Block, obviously. With a big supercharger attached. Drag status. Pretty nice. Very, very nice. Looking for some other things to see in there in the custom area. A lot of cars to see. But looking around right now, see what they got. Justin Capellucci. Twin turbo custom Mustang. Can't tell, but looks like uh, Ford Performance. Ford Performance motor right there. Two blow-up valves, two big turbos. Looks pretty cool. Curious to what power it makes and uh, if it goes down the track and if it goes down the uh, quarter mile. Definitely has a tow hook, so that's kind of important uh, for anything racing related. So, looks pretty cool. Curious to what other modifications it's got on it. But, Oh, here we go. The music again. This is what they do at the Custom Alley. This is the 2017 Ford Mustang Shelby GT350 owned by Anna. Has some aerodynamics added to the car. Was Aquila the GT350. Now it is Loki the GT350. And uh, apparently this is used more for racing applications. It's got some arch type racing aerodynamics added to the front. It's got a big Wang Club going on in the background. And uh, apparently she's no longer interested in the horsepower gains. So this is uh, supercharged with a 2650 Edelbrock supercharger. So makes 700 wheel accordingly. So, and that's going to do it for the custom alley here today at the Philadelphia Auto Show. Okay, so lastly, the last thing I want to say about the Philadelphia Auto Show is that one of the things that I found that we're missing was normally in this section they've had Mercedes-Benz and BMW or a high-end type of car. They did not have that this year. They didn't have Porsche, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, uh, Mercedes-Benz with the smart car. They didn't even have that this year. So that was missing. Um, they had the EV circuit track here, which took up a big portion of the center of the main section of the show so that was going on and i don't know what was going on uh that they just didn't have it they did have the truck territory which i have footage of so um i thought that that was pretty cool the jeep i've done that and all the other uh fill all all the other auto shows that i've gone to so it's usually pretty cool but the truck was pretty was pretty uh awesome today um there was local car clubs, local car stuff, local car stuff. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, they did have some Maserati cars here, Maserati here, Maserati here. Um, those high-end cars were pretty cool to see. Um, don't know what else to really say. They did have some auto show marketplace where you could buy gag plates and all sorts of other memorabilia that you wanted. 
I did not make it to this section. It just was not of interest to me whatsoever. I did go to the custom alley. That was kind of cool, but it kind of wasn't really my scene. I didn't really care for 10 big stereo sound systems. It just, it wasn't, it wasn't my cup of tea, but the overall show was pretty cool. Um, yeah, it was a pretty good event, pretty good show. I'm excited for the New York Auto Show, which is coming up in a couple months. I have already got tickets for that, so that's going to already happen. And we will see you in the next auto show. So thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Take care, guys. Stay tuned for our next video. Thanks for watching. Say bye-bye. Oh, <laughs>